Hey everyone, Jackie and Arcadia here. No, I'm Arcadia. Oh, okay, Anna. She's Anna today. From Enjoying Life's Journey, today I wanted to go over with you our plan for the school year. We homeschool. Um, if you're familiar with us, we kind of do. In the past, I've mentioned that we do unschooling, which is a form of homeschooling. And this year, I'm actually going to be changing it up. And I'd like to say that we're probably doing more of an eclectic homeschooling because there's a little bits and pieces from all kinds of methods or styles of homeschooling that I kind of like. And most recently, I came across um, Charlotte Mason. And what I like about Charlotte Mason's method is that she incorporates a lot of um, outdoor time for the children. She encourages you to spend as much time outside as you can, around four hours a day. Right now, you know, we're in Arizona, it's getting into like 115 degrees, so we obviously can't spend that much time outside. But I love the idea of spending a lot more time outside. And then as well, she um, says to incorporate living books into your curriculum as opposed to so text, you know, textbooks or workbooks or things like that as well. Um, you know, reading aloud and reading a lot to your children and um, kind of developing the whole person, providing them a lot of um, discipline and structure, building habits and character, and giving them a life-size atmosphere, so to speak, as opposed to a kid atmosphere. So again, we just have our regular um, dining room table here that we're turned into our school area. Um, but what I wanted to touch on, Technically, Arcadia she has already done preschool and kindergarten as far as workbooks from the dollar store and Target and things like that. So I would say she's probably kindergarten level if you want to say that route. Uh, but I bought this from Charlotte Mason, um, simplycharlottemason.com, and it's the early years, Charlotte Mason's preschool handbook. And if you're interested in Charlotte Mason or you have preschools or if you're actually interested in unschooling, I recommend getting this book because this book actually, um, it talks about giving your children a quiet learning time where you're not, good, did they all fit? Yep. All right, all our colored pencils fit. So it talks about giving them a quiet learning time before anywhere up until the age of six and they say don't really start lessons um, until you know about six because there's just so much more that you could be doing with this time okay go ahead um, so anyway so I recommend um, getting it so we're kind of basing our I guess our curriculum we're not really doing a curriculum because like I said we unschool so we don't really have a set curriculum but I'm really liking Charlotte Mason as well um, like I was saying she tries to teach she recommends teaching the whole the whole child so you're not just focusing on reading and writing and math but you focus on music and art and literature and um, you know physical activity dancing or drill you know just so many things I love it I love it I love it so anyways this is what we are kind of doing our year off of and so um, I'll just go into the table of contents here because it gives you a real good idea of what we're doing um, so the, she basically says that we have two main jobs as a parent. And the first one is to form right habits of thinking and behaving. And so she talks about proper physical care, you know, hygiene, eating good um, meals, having a clean environment for them to live in, um, all of that. And then habit training, you know, building their character and things like that. So, you know, just helping them have good habits of thinking and behaving and um, proper physical care. So I really like like that. So we'll be focusing on that. Um, and then the second thing is to nourish the mind on loving and right and noble ideas. So again, um, she talks about focusing on using the senses, doing outdoor time, getting them acquainted with nature. So with that, with the nature, we actually um, bought this little handwriting sketchbook and this is going to be Arcadia's nature book and so she can write what she sees or observes or um, you know she can draw a picture or say she finds a leaf or a flower she can tape that in here so this is going to be her nature her nature book 
Um, in addition, they talk about, hold on. In addition, they talk about having a calendar for nature's firsts. So if you have, um, you know, when you see the first flower bloom, you can write down where it was at and what time of year. So that kind of is going over geography in a, in a way. So we, bought, we, we didn't buy this. We actually got this from another YouTuber. Um, and, okay, hold on. We got this beautiful calendar. Um, it's like a little planner for the year. Uh, and one of our Christmas secret Santas that we did last year for YouTube Mommy Meetup. So uh, we are gonna actually use that as Arcadia's um, first, her calendar of first for her nature. Okay, okay, and then also it focuses on doing a lot of free play, um, letting them run with their imagination, and then obviously books and stories, reading to them out loud, having a lot of good literature around. Language, this is for, you know, introducing second languages. Now my husband is Filipino, so he will be um, starting to talk to my daughter in Tagalog, which is the language they speak, um, to start introducing, you know, language, um, a second language to her, and then music and art. Um, now this doesn't mean go enroll your kid in piano lessons, but basically just getting them used to um, seeing art in the house, having it up, you know, getting an appreciation for it, and music, playing really nice um, music, and you know, just having it there. Spiritual life, again, this is gonna be different for everybody. Um, Charlotte Mason does a lot of stuff based off Bible study, things like that. That's one thing we will not um, necessarily follow um, but I do believe in spiritual life you know giving thanks and and you know showing appreciation for things and helping others and, you know there's a whole lot of things that we can incorporate there and then the alphabet she goes over how to start introducing the alphabet and the letters and the sounds and writing and and just some free play so it's not like a lesson and then um, goes into a little more stuff about beginning readings math concepts and handwriting so this, like I said, it's kind of almost a guide for unschoolers as well because it is talking about teaching a lot of this stuff, what she, she calls it, by the way. So as it happens naturally. Um, so a great hand, a handbook um, for you moms out there with preschoolers or even older children who are looking to unschool. It's actually really great stuff here. So I'll be basing a lot of stuff that we do off of the stuff recommended in this book. So stay tuned for that. Um, okay, and then again, I got this book, The Read Aloud Handbook by uh, Jim Trelease, and this is a great resource as well. Uh, the first half of the book, he talks about obviously the benefits of reading aloud, when a, a good age to start or stop reading aloud, which basically is you're never too young to start reading to them and they're never too old to continue reading to them um you know um and also incorporating silent reading individual silent reading time um into their day so what i love about this book the whole back half gives you a huge reference of um books that he's read to his kids or recommends that are great reads and so what i started doing was i started going through and i started with the littlest ones, the books that were from infant to toddler and then toddler to preschool age. And I looked online at my local library and I put a little dot next to the ones that I know, um, or sorry, I put a little dot next to the ones that are um, anywhere up to kindergarten. Those are the books I wanna focus on getting first for, for the girls. And then I went through and if there was, if it's at my library, I put another dot. I know this is a little crazy, but so I, I kind of marked it so I knew this was at my library. And then if it's in yellow, these are books that we have already checked out, we've already read aloud. Um, so it's just, you know, we started, we started doing this a couple weeks ago. We make a weekly trip to the library. Uh, so we have tons, there's just tons and tons, like literally all this half of this book goes all the way through. Um, all ages basically of great read aloud books so we'll be getting a lot of our books just to read aloud just to have fun i'm going to be reading aloud to the to the girls um twice a day basically while they're eating snack and eating lunch i'll be reading aloud to them um and then ricky will read aloud to them in the evening so they'll get three three read alouds a day 
and um, so stay tuned and see how I'm going to actually structure out our day and how much of this I end up using as well. Simply Charlotte Mason has a great list of books um, for preschool age, so I have a copy of that list of books as well, and I'll be going through that list of books. And just so you get an idea, I, these are some books that we just picked up from the library uh, for this week. So basically every week I go to the library with a list of about 10 books, and usually they have maybe five of them. Uh, and these are, you know, some of these could be pretty old books, and you know, they're just great little books to read aloud. So I have Chicken Soup with Rice. We have um, PD. We actually have been reading the whole series of this, so that's another one we're adding. Um, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. The Neighborhood Mother Goose. And then um, uh, Sector Seven or Seven Sector Seven is what it's called. And this one is actually a book with no words. It's just pictures. So they have to actually look at the pictures and um, tell the story. Uh, and that's that's pretty fun. So we've done a couple of those. As well. So for this week we have five books. Sorry, yeah, I just dropped our Arcadia's markers everywhere. <laughs> um, so yeah, so every week we'll be getting about at least five books from the library to read aloud um, several times throughout the week. And uh, stay tuned, and I'll go over more of what our actual schedule will look like using the Charlotte Mason Preschool Handbook. Um, so. Yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.